We're just gonna spend the rest of the afternoon after a Michelin star brunch at the pool, on this rooftop pool. Pretty nice, decked out in gold and palm trees everywhere. Look my boyfriend. Today on Logan Lee Adventures. My boyfriend Yurun and I are exploring our last day in Singapore. We fell in love with this island nation, from the lush city life to the food scene and of course, these rooftop pools. Being here makes me really think about how we're just two kids who happen to be in love. It felt like people from two different worlds colliding like planets into each other to think we were both just solo travelers wandering the worlds by ourselves. And then one day, we each took a leap of faith, stumbled, ran, jumped, and broke all the rules. And then we started to set out on adventure, road trips, small town escapes, big city nights, spontaneous rooftop pool swims, new passport stamps, travel across different continents. He's better than just the world. In each other's eyes, we're someone to share this world with. We fell into mutual weirdness and called it love. After having the rooftop pool just to ourselves, we jump out into the Lion City. Walking around is an adventure in itself in Singapore, with each district having their own distinct character and charm. We love to randomly find places, and this Tian Hock Gen Temple is one of these treasures. It's one of the oldest Hoi Gen Temples since 1842 in Singapore, with Southern Chinese architecture. I wanna watch Mulan with you? I wanna watch Mulan with you too! Look now! There you go! These shop houses across the streets were once the quintessential architecture everywhere on the island. Now they're mostly in Chinatown. I love the cemetery and how it contrasts with the skyscrapers in the background. I refer to Singapore as the Lion City. That's because it's the nickname. Lions have never lived here, but the name is derived from the Malay words Singa for lion and Pira for city. Since we travel and fly so much, and Singapore is such a huge hub for airlines in Southeast Asia, we know we'll be back in the future. But it's just so hard not wanting to stay a few more days here. Wow, durian everything, durian ice cream, fresh durian, durian tart, house of durian. What more can I ask for? Durian! We're in Singapore's Chinatown, so here we go, into the lanterns. Chinatown is one of the most popular areas of Singapore for travelers. I mean, how can you not love the well-preserved heritage shop houses, street stalls, and lively energy of these lantern-filled streets? We are at the National Gallery for the Yayoi Kasuma exhibit with our friend Sean. Yayoi Kusuma is one of the world's most influential artists with contemporary work that is full of color and powerful symbolism. In here, it feels like we have slipped into another dimension. Of course, her infamous polka dots, pumpkins, and infinity mirrors are all here. I have to admit, we didn't know anything about the artist before going, but we learned about her early struggles as an artist in rural Japan to then her explosion into the early days New York scene during the time of Warhol walking through these walls. She embraces a hyper-commercial world of contemporary art, while her creations, like the dots, come from her hallucinations that grew into bigger anxieties that got her admitted in a mental hospital. This whole evening, we are transported into this other universe of Yayoi, taken away. Look at that big head. <laughs> What? It is so cool. Wow. Oh. No. Look up. Oh, jeez. And we are here too. Everywhere. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, which one is the real Yuri? Ooh. <laughs> 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 
This room is called With All My Love for the Tulips, I Pray Forever. Everything from the walls to the potted plants are covered in multicolored polka dots, transforming them into a singular entity. What a trippy dream world I'm in right now. This is probably the coolest exhibit I've ever been. <laughs> Where is he? Where did he go? Where did he go? <laughs> this is called I Want to Love on the Festival Night. It's an iteration of how Kusama's concept of self obliteration shows up even in reality. Here, it takes the form of the Japanese night festival, mirrored into infinity. One light bulb just can't stand alone to achieve the effect that this mirror box accomplishes, showing how we are all but one part of the world, and only when we come together that meaning is found. But I love touching the box. We are in Narcissa's garden, which illustrates Kusama's dauntless spirit. Excuse me, sir. No lying down, sir. But Yan Yao did it. After the exhibit, we wandered off to the water where there was a light show happening. What perfect timing! From across the water, we watch a series of lasers with matching emotive music and live orchestral compositions. This is one phenomenal city. From the light show, we had to end our final night in Singapore at the Gardens by the Bay. The stunning forest of giant metal trees at Gardens by the Bay is even more mesmerizing at night when the structures light up. If I can sum up Singapore in one word, I would say it's been a dream. It's a dream to be here with the love of my life. Both of us mesmerized, swept up by our senses and into each other. We already can't wait to be back in the Lion City in the future. Singapore at night is These so beautiful. Ooh. That spaceship. Yo, the motherboard. Hola! It's really cool when you're at the pool because they have these super strong reflector lights on you. Yeah. So that you can take a lot of selfies. Ooh, so when the water, you have like the perfect lighting. Oh, because so you they have like get all the... of these reflectors wow. pumping out there. They thought of everything. Bye guys. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe us for more. Give us a like and leave a comment. We love talking with you guys. See you later this week for a new adventure.